right, shh, be quiet. I want you guys to be able to hear me. So we have been taking really big numbers and converting them to scientific notation. Now on this example, we're gonna start with the scientific notation and convert it to a big number. Um, so up here, we have the scientific notation and we need to convert that. So because it's 10 to the six, and I'm gonna write this out so you see it a little better, we say 3.5, but we're gonna move six spaces the other way. So that means I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And so in each one of these spaces, I'm gonna put a placeholder or a zero. Then you can go back and say, this is uh, 3,500,000, like that, right? Okay. Now, uh, let's double check that on our calculators. Turn your calculators on. If you're not in the home screen, remember you can hit second mode, which quits. If you have a bunch of garbly goop there, Hit clear and then hit enter while well, you got hit clear. Okay. And I'm going to put in 3.5 times 10 to the, what power was that? I forgot. Six. All right. Let's see. Uh, well, bam, with the bacon sizzle, it's 3,500,000. So did we do it correctly? Yes. All right. So. Um, it says, explain why the exponent, uh, 3.5 times 10 to the 6 is 6, and there are only five zeros. So how do I put that in words? In other words, what they're saying is, I have a 6 here, but when I look at this, I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Um... Your textbook has a really fancy answer, but I'm curious to how you would say it. I would say that you move, well, I'll, I'll, I'll write it this way. You move six spaces for sure, but one space has five. In other words, to get from, uh, from if we start here, I gotta go one space past the five. And then I would say the zeros are placeholders for um, I'm at your textbook says that it just says placeholders but I'm gonna say placeholders for empty spaces which is not mm, mathematically formal but yeah I think you guys it makes more sense to you guys and you're not college you're not mathematicians yet. You're not college level mathematicians yet. No, you're not. Be quiet. You're not even close. Get on my level. All right. So now it says, what is the exponent on 10 if you write 5.3 in scientific notation? So let's think about that. So if I say 5.3 times 10 to the something. I don't know what that something is yet. It has to equal 5.3. So this is kind of a trick question. So 5.3 times 10 to some power equals 5.3. What power should I plug in there? Yes. Well, I guess the, okay, she said two, and then she kind of was like, well, 
two won't work because I got to move it. Well, let's think of it like this. If I start with 5.3, how many spaces do I move the decimal point to get to 5.3? How many spaces? Yes. Huh? Zero spaces. I don't move it at all, so guess what I put here? Zero. Zero. So it's zero spaces. By the way, what's 10 to the zero? One. What's one times 5.3? 5.3. So that works, right? Brilliant. Does that make sense? Thumbs up if you understand it. Thumbs down if that last one's confusing. All right.